Walt Disney Home Entertainment and Marvel Studios will be bringing their billion dollar Marvel Cinematic Universe blockbuster Captain Marvel to home media. And as per usual there will be a super selection of editions powering their way onto shelves worldwide. In this video I'll go over all the details of all the different versions you can expect to find across the US and Canada, the UK and Australia and when you can find them in stores and on digital platforms. Additionally I will detail the list of announced special features and deliver my final thoughts discussing which version or versions I'll be picking up. In doing so I also hope to help you weigh up which version is best for you. As always I will leave affiliate links down below in the description and the comments if you'd like to purchase the movie from Amazon, Amazon UK or Amazon Australia. All these editions will be region free so if you're in the market to import anything you see here you'll be able to play it no matter what region you're in. I did of course review Captain Marvel when it was first released in cinemas. If you'd like to take a look at my more in-depth thoughts on the movie as well as a number of editorials in including a breakdown of the post credits, please feel free to check out my Captain Marvel playlist via the links in the top corner or through the hyperlinks at the end of the video. On your screen is the list of topics that I'll be covering in this video. If you're more interested in checking out some over others, then please feel free to skip forward via the time codes I provided down below in the comments. Otherwise, you are of course more than welcome to stick it with me for the long run. Let's take a look at the North American release where Captain Marvel will be landing on physical home media on June 11, 2019 and on digital two weeks earlier on May 28, 2019. Captain Marvel will release as a 4K Ultra High Definition plus Blu-ray plus Digital Marvel Cinematic Universe Edition, a Blu-ray plus Digital Multi-Screen Edition, and as a standard single disc DVD only edition. I really like the artwork that has been used across these releases. It features my favourite of the film's posters but with some newly added elements in the background. It seems pretty standard these days for Disney to offer the same art across all releases. Target will be offering an exclusive 4K plus Blu-ray plus digital digipack edition of the movie featuring a 40 page filmmaker gallery book. I absolutely love the artwork featured on this one and actually kind of wish it was offered on one of the standard editions. Also love the retro artwork chosen for the booklet. Additionally a steelbook edition will be released exclusively through Best Buy as a 4K plus Blu-ray plus digital combo pack. This still uses the movie's teaser poster artwork on the front which is quite nice and an incredibly dynamic piece of concept art on the interior. It's not the best steelbook ever, but next to this year's Ant-Man and the Wasp set, it's one of the nicest Marvel has offered for a while. As per usual, our friends across the galaxy in the UK will have to wait a little over a month for the film's physical release, which will land on July 15, 2019. In the UK, Captain Marvel will be available in a 4K plus Blu-ray combo pack, a 3D plus Blu-ray combo pack, a single disc Blu-ray only edition, and as a standard single disc DVD only edition. It's great to see Disney UK back to offering 3D editions after strangely skipping 3Ds for their last couple of releases. These UK editions will be presented in slightly modified artwork from the US covers using an untouched version of the original poster artwork featuring the Captain Marvel star insignia in the background. Zavi will be the exclusive UK retailer of the Steelbook edition of the film, available as both a 4K plus Blu-ray combo pack and as a 3D plus Blu-ray combo pack. Both sets will feature the same artwork which is also identical to the US Best Buy release. Both steals are currently listed as sold out but keep your eye on the website as more will usually be made available closer to release as Zavi a lot further stock and relist cancelled pre-orders. Additionally Zavi is also offering an exclusive collector's edition, the first time they've offered one of these for a Marvel film. The set will likewise come available as both a 4K plus Blu-ray combo pack and as a 3D plus Blu-ray combo pack. The set will be presented inside an exclusive collector's light up slip box featuring supercharged character artwork which will bundle the respective steelbook of the movie, four special edition uniquely textured printed art cards and a pull out gift box containing four metal printed pin badges featuring iconic character art. Each box is limited to only 1000 units worldwide and is currently likewise sold out on Zavi. However once again keep your eye on the website closer to release as it will be sure to come back into stock, albeit briefly once again. This is a pretty great collector's edition for the die-hard Captain Marvel fan out there and I honestly did consider pre-ordering this when it first went up, but the longer I looked at it the more I realised this is just a whole bunch of useless tat that I really have no use for. In Australia, Captain Marvel will be released closer to the US release with a release date set for June 19, 2019. As always however, don't forget you should be able to pick it up two days earlier on the 17th in store at J 
JB Hi-Fi. In Australia, the film will be offered as a 4K plus Blu-ray combo pack, a single disc Blu-ray only edition, and as a single disc DVD only edition. However, despite the UK receiving a 3D edition of the film this time round, it seems it will be skipped out on the Australian market as one doesn't appear on any retailer websites or on Disney's media release lists. JB Hi-Fi will be the exclusive Australian retailer of the Steelbook, which will be available as a 4K plus Blu-ray combo pack. While Sanity is offering a bonus poster with online purchases of the Blu-ray and 4K editions. As far as release specs go, the 4K edition will feature an HDR presentation complemented by a Dolby Atmos audio track. The Blu-ray editions on the other hand will feature a DTS HD Master Audio 7.1 audio track. A selection of foreign language audio and subtitle tracks will also be included, but these may vary depending on your location. Captain Marvel also comes bundled with a pretty marvellous selection of special features which will be accessible on the Blu-ray disc of any set that comes bundled with one. The special features include an introduction and a film commentary by directors and screenwriters Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleck, six featurettes including Becoming a Superhero, follow Brie Larson's journey as she joins the MCU and see what it takes to be a Marvel superhero in every sense of the word, Big Hero Moment, explore how impactful Captain Marvel's entrance into the MCU is and how she inspires audiences around the world. The origin of Nick Fury. Witness some of the MCU's most significant events through Nick Fury's eyes and see how his influence has helped shape the MCU. The Dream Team. Discover why Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleck are the perfect pair to direct Marvel Studios' most powerful hero. The Skrulls and the Kree. Take a deeper look into the Skrulls and the Kree, their ongoing conflict and the importance of shifting perspectives in the film. Hysterical Catitude. The cast and crew dish on working with Goose and the raw talent it takes to portray such a complex character on screen. The set also includes six deleted and alternate scenes, including additional footage featuring Nick Fury, Agent Coulson and Jude Law's Yon Rog. Initial reports had stated that the accumulative runtime of these extra scenes would be 26 minutes long. However, this is yet to be confirmed in Marvel's official press release. If true, this would be one of the most substantial offerings of additional scenes on a Marvel or Disney release for a very long time, if not ever. Also included is a gag reel. The fate of the universe hangs in the balance as the cast battles props, flubs and flurkins in these outtakes from the set. And as always there is a selection of digital exclusives here as well. Including two additional featurettes, Journey into Visual Effects with Victoria Alonso, experience how filmmakers visions of the MCU come to life on screen through the skill of the visual effects team. What makes a memory inside the mind frack? What does it take to craft an action packed sequence for a Marvel Studios film, nothing short of an epic team effort. And two art galleries including concept art and on-set images. If reports are true and this set houses over three hours of bonus features taking into account the filmmakers commentary, this is easily the most impressive selection of features offered on a Disney live action release for ages. There is some great stuff on here including what looks to be a promising selection of behind the scenes and making of documentaries reported to be around 40 minutes in length. If true, this will hopefully be a fairly in-depth and substantial collection of featurettes. There's also quite a a bit more than normal on offer with the digital exclusives which is pretty good for those who love the digital but a little frustrating for those who can't access or don't use the digital codes. I particularly would have liked to check out the featurettes on the film's visual effects. It's still a little bit of a sore spot for myself that not everything is just included on the physical disc. However, regardless, this is shaping up to be a fantastic home media release and I cannot wait to devour everything that it has to offer. With all that said, let's get on with my final picks. Captain Marvel is a fun and exciting Marvel adventure that feels more like something plucked straight out of the franchise's first phase. While I thought it played it safe with some things, on the whole it offered some great world building and has a gorgeous visual appearance. While not one of my favourite MCU instalments, I'm certainly looking forward to owning it on home media and checking it out again. As you know, I'm always in the market for both the 4K and 3D editions of my Disney and Marvel films, so of course Captain Marvel 
Marvel will be no exception. I'll of course grab my 3D copy while I'm over here in the UK and will source my 4K copy from the US as I do love my US slipped editions. I caught the movie in 3D in cinemas and thought there was a great depth and immersion to the picture. There's some excellent colourful moments in this movie and I'm particularly looking forward to seeing it in 4K. It should be a stellar transfer. As I start scaling back on my spending on multiple editions, I'll be skipping all of the limited editions this time round. But if I were to grab one or recommend one myself, my personal pick would be the Target Digipack. And at that, we've come to the end of another video. Once again, you can find affiliate links down below in the comments and the description if you'd like to purchase the movie from Amazon, Amazon UK, or Amazon Australia. I certainly hope this video has helped make your purchasing decisions all the easier, so fire away in the comments below and let me know which version or versions of Captain Marvel you'll be powering up for yourselves. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos, you like what you've seen, you'd like to see more like this in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen right now, and also hit that like button down below if you're feeling extra generous. Also, don't forget to check out my many social media accounts, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day.